if you've already watched my video on how to move your hips and pelvis, then you're ready to do a little bit more complicated hip movements. We're going to work on shimmies. So if you remember the hip bump, we're going to learn a hip bump shimmy. So just start your hip bump a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Okay, there's your hip bump shimmy. Just kind of go as fast as you can. Everything feels like jello. Now when you're doing the hip bump shimmy, you want to remember what we said with the hip bump. When your hip's coming up, you're actually thinking about that foot going down into the floor. So as you get shimmying, think about pressing those feet down. Really use those feet. You'll get more hip movement that way. Good. Another way to use the hip bump is to stand on one foot and you're going to bump the other hip. We'll start slow. Think about pressing that foot down into the floor to get more hip movement. Now a little faster, a little faster. Still thinking about pressing the ball of my foot into the floor. And it gets going so fast, it's vibrating, it's a shimmy. Another thing you can do is go side to side. Side side, side, side. Now when you go side to side, you're combining the hip rotator movement with the hip bump. Okay, so bump, then rotate, bump, then rotate, bump. So to make this a shimmy, I like to go twice on each side. Bump, 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 bump. you could try it with your feet apart. Same thing. And now rock from right to left, right to left. Your hips just keep doing the same thing. Bump, 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 bump. There's a slow motion, a little faster. And go from right to left. You could even add a little shoulder shimmy. Good. Then there's the walking hip shimmy. Start slow. Notice that you can walk. You can pick your foot up. And as you're shimmying, you can walk. Another variation you can do on the hip bump shimmy is the double hip bump. Now on your double hip bump shimmy, you're going to bump twice on each side. The first time we'll have an accent and the second time will be gentler. It'll be an echo of your first movement. So here's accent, gentle, accent, gentle, or you can think hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft. And get going a little faster. One of my favorite moves to do to this is a bachata. So you're just going side together, side tap, side together, side tap. At the same time you do your double hip bump shimmy. Another variation you can do on the hip bump shimmy is the double hip bump shimmy. So here's your hip bump. Now on your double hip bump shimmy, you're going to bump twice on each side. The first time we'll have an accent and the second time will be gentler. It'll be an echo of your first movement. So here's accent, gentle, accent, gentle. Or you can think hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft. And get going a little faster. One of my favorite moves to do to this is a bachata. So you're just going side together, side tap, side together, side tap. At the same time, you do your double hip bump shimmy. Let's try the knee shimmy. With the knee shimmy, 
your knees are going back and forth. One knee bends as the other knee straightens. You don't want to totally lock and straighten your leg, but it comes almost straight. So this would be lock, and this is almost straight. So your knees are going to go back and forth like they're running. I'll show you from the side. You're going to go a little faster, a little faster. Press your feet into the floor and just let your knees wiggle. And it makes your whole body shimmy. And it's called a knee shimmy. Good. Next, let's work on a hip drop shimmy. So a hip drop is the opposite of a hip bump. Here's your hip bump. Your accent's going up, up with your hip. With a hip drop, you start up and you go down, 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 down. Now to do the hip drop shimmy, we need to have our weight on the opposite foot of the hip that we'll be working. Practice dropping. So what we're going to try is this hip drop shimmy. So to break it down, we're going to go one, and on one, your hip drops down and springs back up. One, one, one. Next, it's going to be two and up. One, two, and up. Let's do that again. One, side, side, side. Again. One, two, and up. Now the uh at the end of two and a is going to be leading up into your next one. So this is already up. One, two, and a. 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 One. So it takes a little work to practice this one, but it's super fun, so try it. Okay, next you're going to do the same thing with an overturn. So this is used a lot in belly dance pop. One, two and a one, two and a one, two and a one, two and a one. Overturn, two and a one, two and a one, two and a one. One, two, one, two. The bouncing shimmy, you are bending your knees to go down, up, down, up, down, up. As you get faster, you're going to move a little bit less. Faster, faster, faster. So you're going to notice that everything starts to shake. Even my voice starts to shake. My cheeks are shaking. Everything's going up and down and just bounce, bounce, bounce. Good. That's going to use your thighs a lot. And my thighs are working really hard right now. Okay, next we'll try a hip twist shimmy. So we did the hip twist in a prior video, like this, and you just make it go faster, and you got a hip twist shimmy. Hey, you could walk back and forth with a hip twist shimmy. And now I'm going to show you a double hip twist shimmy. So you go twice on one side, twice on the other side. But the first one that you do is harder and sharper and accented. And the second one is softer. It's a reverb of the first one. So start with your hip back, twist it forward, and then again gently. Hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft. Now I'm going to use my feet because as you twist, if you had one foot forward, your leg turns anyways because it's following your hip. And if you plant your toe on the floor, the whole foot turns. So you can expose your inner thigh every time you twist. Every time I twist back right here, my inner thigh is exposed to you, the audience. Now I can do the double hip shimmy like this. Where I show my inner thigh and I bring it back. One, two, one, two, sharp, soft, sharp, soft, sharp. Soft, sharp, soft, sharp, soft, sharp, soft, sharp. Okay, now we'll do what I call a football shimmy. Happens all the time in your dance exercise class. Think about just jogging, walking in place. Notice my head is going up and down when I jog. Okay, we don't want that. So now try to run without hopping, without bouncing, without your head going up and down. Now make your feet go faster and faster until they're going as fast as you can. You can't go too fast here. 
Now you have an option. You can either kind of keep your booty in or you can stick your booty out. And if you're gonna stick your booty out, make sure you've got your abs pulled in. Make sure you've got your chest up, not down. Okay, up. Great. Now we're gonna try a chest slide, hip slide, kind of shimmy. Okay, so chest slide. We'll put our arms up for this one, kind of belly dance style. And we're gonna go one and two, 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 one and two. On one, you have the accent, it's strong, one. But on the and two, it's a reverb, an echo of one, so it's gentler. And two, one, and two, one, and two. Good, now you wanna learn how to slide your hip at the same time you slide your chest, but your hip goes in the opposite direction of your chest. So if I'm starting with my chest going to your left, then my hip slides to your right. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Last thing, shoulder shimmy. So your shoulders are turning around your spine. Okay. And you gradually get going a little faster and as you speed up, your shoulder makes a little less movement because it has less time. Sometimes we go forward and backward. <laughs> 